lucky numbers time. It is Nine Mile Metals. They have four projects in the world's third largest mining camp. That's Bathurst in New Brunswick. And I'm joined by two guests. They are Patrick Cruikshank, CEO, and Gary Lohman, VP of Exploration. Gentlemen, welcome. We have been overdue for a catch up, so we have quite a bit of news to cover. We're talking today about the Wedge project, a lot of copper and gold there, and we have a lot of XRF results to get through. So please take it away. Uh, we've been working, uh, I'd say, diligent, diligently at site in preparation for an upcoming our upcoming drill program. Uh, we're going to be looking at the western extension of the wedge deposit, which has been identified as being copper rich. We've had Apex uh, Geoscience assisting with 3D modeling and micromine and hole design for our drilling and using um, micromine 3D modeling, uh, utilizing all our geophysical, uh, geochemical and drill data. Uh, we've got, at present, we have seven drill holes planned. And it's to test uh, the Western extension where there's uh, copper rich. There are uh, identified uh, Maxwell plates that we are going to be intersecting. And we are also going to be te testing the depth of the deposit. At surface, we've done three suites of uh, sampling in the area of the uh, copper extension. And a total of 72 samples have been submitted. Uh, to ALS and ACK Labs. Uh, prior to sending the samples out, we do XRF analysis of the samples. It's very fine grained uh, pyrite and calcopyrite. And we're getting results from, you know, one and 2% up to our, our latest release is 26.14. And we've identified secondary copper mineralization in the form of covalite, giving us the, the higher grades. And in this recent, uh, batch, there's also more than 1% antimony, which was a surprise to us. And results are generally also include elevated arsenic and both the antimony and arsenic are pathfinders for precious metals. And all of these samples have been submitted and they will be assayed for copper, lead, zinc and gold, silver. You must be very pleased with those XRF results. And I understand that the rig will be spinning next week. So tell us how that drill program is all coming together and how these results are setting you up nicely for it. Uh, yes, the drill should be on site uh, at one point next week. Um, drill pads and access have all been prepared. And th these, uh, the samples that we've been collecting sort of just sort of validate everything that we've been um, dealing with understanding the uh, the copper mineralization and uh, the mineralogy. So we're very pleased to get to get the rig on the ground and testing this to the west and like I say at depth and uh, the geophysical targets generated from our previous downhole program. Thank you so much for those geological insights, Gary. Now, Patrick, turning to you, let's talk about the financing side. So you recently closed an oversubscribed placement, and I understand that includes a strategic investor. So tell us, what is the market telling you and how much cash do we have? How much runway is that going to afford you at Bathurst? Well, um, from a corporate strategic standpoint, um, you know, with our valuation and so on, we didn't want to raise too much funding at this level, right? So, so we're balancing that. Um, that being said, we are dramatically oversubscribed, which is uh, showing the interest and in people recognizing the value of our proposition and the opportunity here. Um, the assets are high quality. They, uh, they obviously we don't we don't uh, think we're valued correctly, and that's what this drill prag program is going to highlight. Um, yes, uh, the recovery of of our of our share cap is is priority number one for our company and for our investors and to have a more reasonable valuation reflected in the market for the quality of the assets and to the the extent of our asset base here um you know so like gary had mentioned some of these uh these assays it's quite heavily um overweighted in the double digit copper results 
So I know Gary gave us a range from 1 to 26, but if you read the press releases, even this last one today, um, 9 of the 18 were over 14%. That's over half the, and you know, so this is massive copper, very high rich, very excited. Um, you know, we're getting so we will have another uh, news uh, summary for the upcoming program coming out with more uh, disclosure to what we're going to be doing in, in the program. But uh, no, we're very excited. And this asset's been a priority behind Nine Mile Brook uh, for, for two years. And we're very excited to show a larger footprint on the West, uh, like we did on the East last year, and to uh, get this to an economic uh, viable deposit. And, uh, and you know, the market has responded. And not just the retail investment market, I'm talking about the institutional market and the, and the majors and the intermediary uh, mining companies coming back to the camp, which, you know, you can see that sentiment in Australia, you can see it in Canada and the US, like, Liquidity's back, investments back, uh, but there is an appetite for critical minerals, gold and critical minerals, right? We're lucky enough to have both, um, and 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 it's really fantastic to be back with a uh, with a program as as early as as next Monday. The wedge project certainly is shaping up nicely. So, would you leave us please with a reminder of the next big catalysts for wedge and the rest of the portfolio? Um. Well, what's going to be happening here behind the, this girl program? Um, obviously, we have high hopes that for success of it. Um, and, and then we'll be modeling it, continuing with Apex and continue to develop this asset. But then we will be looking at the tri-bag and the West Wedge, the cluster of this trend. And um, we are having Nine Mile Brook revisited right now uh, on our Eastern portfolio. And we're looking forward to a very strong, active uh, 2025 fall here in the fourth quarter and continuing into 2026. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I know Gary's excited. Geologists are always excited when you're drilling, but, uh, but we're excited to prove up and, and to add value to, for our shareholders for sure. Hey, we're excited too. Patrick, Gary, thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you very much.